Who are your names? I'm Dan Pavanmeyer. And I'm Swampy Marsh. Okay, so what made you come up with the idea for Phineas and Ferb? Well, we were working on a show where we were writing together and we liked it so much we decided to come up with a show that we could do together and therefore continue to work together. Okay. But then it took like 13 years to sell it to the network. And, and we wanted to create a show where kids got out and did fun, fun, creative stuff like we used to do when we were kids. Cool. So, do you guys have any older sisters? I have a younger sister, but she used to tell on me all the time. I have three younger brothers, and they're all half or stepbrothers. Okay, because um, when I think of Phineas and Candace, it reminds me of me and my little brother. Yeah, it reminds me of me and my little sister, actually. She, but, but she was always telling on me, even though I was older. Wow, okay. So, but the thing is, the real coincidence is that not only is Candace sort of based on on her when she was when we were young, the character of Mom is based on her when, when the way she is now. Really? Yeah, and the character of Mom's name is Linda, Linda Flynn Fletcher, and my sister's name is Linda. Cool. Okay. Okay. So. Why does Dr. Doofenshmirtz's inventions always end in a nature? Because, you know, he, he tries to keep some consistency going, you know. He, 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 it's not been all of them, but it's been most of them. He did have that one shrink Smyria, but and Harry was able to defeat that, that device. Anyway. Yeah, that was it. I named something shrink Smyria, and Harry defeated me, so I said, I should probably go back to the Nator name. Okay. The, the main reason for all the naters is because it makes us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how does Major Monogram like his intern, Carl? Well, uh, Carl is one of the most uh, ruthlessly efficient uh, individuals we have working at the agency. Thank gosh we don't have to pay him. <laughs> Get a great deal on that one. You don't try. You don't pay Carl. Oh gosh, no, he's an unpaid intern. Certainly would uh, would blow the budget if we ever had to give him a dime. You know, he does more work than you, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. But I don't tell him that. Okay. <laughs> so, how does Dr. Dubinschmertz like his self from the other dimension? You know, he was, he was fun at first because he's so much like me, you know? And I was like, I found a new best friend. And it's me, but uh, uh, but at, you know, then I realized he's sort of a jerk, you know. He he, he fed me to a gozum, you know, and, you know, for for just saying jinx three times. And apparently, according to my other terrible. You're breaking up. So he's okay, but oh. but you know, don't see eye to eye. Okay, so. I heard the inf doc I heard Dr. Dupinchmert's information I gave to my little brother Ari. So what advice would you give to nine year olds like me? Uh, probably the same advice. You should go into evil as as a as a vocation, as a profession, as a career, as a life choice. Go into evil. It's it's a wide open field. I'd, I'd like to interrupt there. I, I think that good is a much better choice for a career. It's, it's certainly, well, good. It, it's boring, is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you do? What does Doctor Doctor Dupinchmert do for fun? And well, major fun, monogram. You know, my work is my fun. I, you know, I, I work for fun. It's, it's like that's what I really like is trying to take over the tri-state area. That's my passion in life. Uh, it hasn't really worked out too well for me, but that's, that's what I do in my spare time, too. I, I, I come up with new innate ideas to help me take over the tri-state area. Okay, and ma ma what does Major Monogram do for fun? Well, uh, fly fishing has uh, uh, become my latest hobby, although I, I have caught no flies so far. I'm, I'm still trying. And, uh, you're not, wait, 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 you're not what? supposed to actually, 
to catch flies. You use a fly lure to catch fish. It's what, that's why you're, that's why it's oh, not working out for you. Well, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> uh, never mind fly fishing thing. Uh, the Mrs. and I like to do a bit of square dancing when we, when we get the time. Anytime he dances, it's a square dancing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, do you got, so does Dr. Doofenshmirtz or Major Monogram have any hobbies? Um, stab collecting, gladly. Um, I think that's about it for me. Other than that, it's all work, 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 work. And, you know, I, I don't really have any hobbies other than, you know, I tinker with stuff and make a natos. That's about it. It doesn't leave a lot of room for other, uh, other activities. I'm spending time with my daughter as often as I can, and I'm making a natos, of course. So, does Dr. Doofenshmirtz like his career in evil more than his own daughter? No, 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 no. I would, you know, I, Vanessa comes first to me. It doesn't always seem that way, but you know, I only get her every other weekend, so I have a lot of other time to fill. Okay, so. Does Major Monogram like all of the members of the agency? Well, certainly. I was not talking about them. They're all animals, so they, they tend not to have any, um, any conversations with me that go wrong. It's usually them just making noises, woofs, gumble, gumble, cluck, cluck, meow, I don't know, stuff like that. <laughs> Where's there to <laughs> have an argument with? Uh, okay. So we, that thing. So does... Apparently we're done and we have to go back to work. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice interviewing you guys. Yeah, more question. Uh -huh. about one more question. How about one more question? And then we'll go. Oh, okay. So, what's both of your guys' first names? I'm Dr. Heim Doofenshmirtz. And I am Major Francis Bonagram. Francis. <laughs> it's a girl's name. The He's got a girl's name. With an eye, Francis. You can call him Franny. Call him Franny. It makes him angry. <laughs> Great. Oh, one knows. Well, it was nice interviewing you. We have to go back. Okay, well, it was nice interviewing you. Bye. Okay. See you later, Benny. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. -bye. Bye.